Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ross here. Episode 12 of Brexit. And we are almost done this series, I think. We're getting close. We are getting very close. Uh, nuking will happen as soon as nuclear reactors actually kick online. We start making some bombs. Um, some other things uh, today. This video is going to be substantially late. And I'm sorry, uh, but it was out of my control. I have other things in my personal life, obviously, that go on. And I don't get paid enough to make videos. Um, two... When I got home, I had a fresh 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM, DDR4 RAM, to install into my rig. I installed that. Somehow, I also solved the clicking noise that I was complaining about. I also solved the um, issue with the SSD card not being at the boot drive. Um, so I actually got a lot of this, like hardware issues actually done. But then when I put the rig all together, my CPU was running at like 80 degrees Celsius at idle, which is never good. Um, so yeah, then I had to solve that, and then I solved that, and so now we're running nice and smooth uh, right now, even in game, only using 17% uh, of memory and 15% of the CPU right now. So uh, we're doing very well, and I can't complain. I don't have any temperature warnings, and let's get to the actual game itself. Now we have uh, Tibet over here, which uh, we'll try to take out Tibet, Nepal, and uh, Bhutan. Um, we have this army over here, which we don't have to really worry you use. But uh, someone was saying, "Oh, you have a hundred. There's a hundred eighty-seven unit army that's about to kill you." No, it's a hundred eighty-seven ships, which would kill my fleet probably. Um, but we're not too worried about that. It is Japan. It is a um, what you call it? It's a puppet of Italy. But we're not going to be too worried about that fleet once we engage, because we are once we engage on Italy. Um, we're gonna have other things. I'm trying to break through here, but we can see even when I unpause, that doesn't work. So we'll stop that. Uh, where we left off with the last episode is uh, Argentina government has declared war on us. We need to get our forces down here. Uh, let's see actually who is at war with us. It seems like it's just Argentina down here, but we uh, our army is on the way down. 67 man uh, unit or 67 divisions, I would say. Um, we need national focuses, though. There's really nothing to do right now, um, to be quite honest. Develop the Raj. Yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, we're definitely not doing independent in Raj. I can tell you that. We're not giving it. Well, should we give them up? Should we? Should we give them up and attack them and just make everyone, the entire place, ours? Uh, we are still short on convoys, so let's get another stockpiling of convoys. And actually, get, let's get another set as well. Uh, let's look at this, man. We have, what, 848 military factories, 249 dockyards, 715 civilian factories. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we have a whole bunch of naval plans for invading Cuba, getting rid of um, Haiti, uh, getting rid of the rest of the American islands, uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, so that should be on its way pretty soon. Uh, we also have a 24-man army actually going up here. I've divided a lot of the 24-man armies up because I know people will always comment that, oh, you're not doing it. Uh, let's see. We have to find these plans. Okay, there we go. And not all plans. Not all plans. I think, I think we're good. Let's, um, oh, we got military factories to mess around, though. Let's uh, get rid of the Navy stuff. Uh... We have 500 more experience with uh, army. Let's just look at tanks right now, because this is the best thing to you use your up, uh, upgrades for is for tanks. So let's look at this. Um, we have the Comet Mark One. We can upgrade. We already have five reliability and five engines. So let's go to armor. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. Let's do two and two. What's that take us? That takes us to 250, okay? So that's going to be the Mark II. And then let's do the same thing with our... Oh, that's not what I wanted. God damn it. That's just, that's horrible. Okay, let's uh, do this one, though. Uh, let's upgrade this. Oh, well, well, two and two should be... Okay, that's 230. Uh, can we get the next one? No. Okay. So we do, we'll do that. So... So this is the Mark II, and then let's get the Mark II. Also, let's go into here and delete, decommission the Mark I, and decommission the Mark I. I wish I could decommission the originals, but 
Oh well. You can't get everything you want, right? Uh. Okay, so let's do this. So this is Mark II. And we're just going to go through this. I'll cut this out. After we cut that all out, I'm surprised about how many lines we have of tanks and crap. Um, we have all these burnt out factories right now because of resistance and shit. Uh, resistance is important to handle, and I actually don't know where my resistance is coming from right now. I think it's probably just all America, right? Let's actually look at a resistance map real quick. Uh, resistance. Oh, yeah, America. America is fucking me. Uh, okay, so America's... F Man, this war is so much over, though. I just need to get rid of some of these uh, countries here. I, I'm, I'm gonna... On the better judgment side of it, I think I'm gonna just ignore it for right now, and let the clock roll. Uh, we're in, in, we're on fourth of December. Actually, here we go. Um, yeah, we're fourth, fifth of December now, 1944. Um, that's amazing that we're only in 44 and we have all of this accomplished. Um, very, I'm very impressed with it. Not, just, it's not to say like, hey, I'm impressed with myself. It's just. It's kind of, um, I never thought that it would be, like, go this way at all. Uh, let's see. What's this army? Just need to make sure that everyone is set to go. Not only set to go, but set for ambitious as well. Yeah, I like that army. Set that for ambitious. And, yeah. Uh, go, go. Let's see, uh, we should have shit landing relatively soon. Uh, let's see, what's this? Okay, we, we sunk five convoys. That's fine. Low manpower? Really? We have three million. Interesting. Our total army strength is six million. And technically, if you look at our total military power, it's over 6.5 million. We have three million shortage. Now, I wonder if that's because of recruit and deploy aspects. Let's, um, we'll change that to one. We'll change that to one. And, okay, so that's it. So we won't, we'll stop actually using manpower to create more units. And this is now justified. So let's uh, declare our war. And we'll see that go. Okay. We've got two destroyers now. The American Navy is not too much a threat, I think, in this area. Uh, I could be absolutely just devastatingly wrong about that, though. Uh, okay, let's see this fleet. Let's just have a couple battle, uh, two battleships, two CVs, and a cruiser. We have, I've been doing absolutely horrible with, um, with maintaining the ships that I'm researching stuff, and also naval uh, combat. Let's go and research, and. 19, we have 174 more days until nuclear bombs are capable. Um, let's actually look at that. Oh, Tibet's done. <laughs> Take all states. 62, done. Okay, so that's done. And let's see what else. Well, we can get the next radar. No, no I was looking at air. Yeah, I have not researched the next air, and that's really my fault. I really should do that, because that's only a couple days, 64 days apiece. So the next uh, research that we get, I have someone call me up on my cell phone and remind me to do that. Um, we're going to put this now on Nepal, and there we go. And I don't, okay, whatever. We have It's 24 man units, so let's... Um, We'll just start our justification as well. Try to get these two done and out of with. Since once we get these done, I mean we're pretty much done on this side of the world. We do have uh, Australia to worry about, and I guess we have South uh, Africa and Portugal. The only reason I'm not attacking Portugal right now, and I know a lot of people will comment about this, is that I want to get this massive war over with. Um, so we can actually, like, kick out Italy, I'll attack Portugal without them joining this war. Because they're large enough that they're going to join this war, and then it's just going to... I foresee it starting issues that I just don't want to be a part of, to be quite honest. And... Okay, so this army is now fighting, and they're going to close that border. 
Okay, so our justification is done. Artillery upgrade, that's great. Let's get the next round of air. Let's get our close air support. And then let's also then declare war. Conquer. Okay. It seems that these units, um, these countries, they join, but then we kill them so fast that they are not in the war, which is a little confusing. We're going to go for mechanized number three. We're not going to change our stuff to mechanized number two. I'm not going to go through that. It's just, it'll be too much in the pain if we're only 200 days away from the next element. So, and I think you can almost hear the, is that wind or is that snow? Take all states. And then we're done with that. Nice and loud. Gotta love it. And we'll, again, select this army. Uh, we'll center them around here. Take this. Uh, somehow we're down to 22 units. Whatever. Is this the army? Army 16? I can't tell. Army 15. Okay, army 15. I like it actually tells you right there. Army 15. Uh, modified government. Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. We earned so little political change that we are so far behind on this. Like, it's just, it's actually pretty pretty funny. Um, nuclear reactor construction speeds. We'll, we will take that. I mean, definitely we'll take that. What's our construction look like right now? Lots of infrastructure. Lots of infrastructure. Lots of repairs. But that's all because of resistance right now. Uh, okay, so this will go... They will all go over there. Oh, what the... Oh, we need one more political power. Because we need two. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're only earning like a quarter a day. That's pretty funny. Uh, are these going to go? Are they going yet? Army 13. Hold on. We only have 46... Caribbean Sea, Caribbean Sea, Southern England. Okay. Okay. We're just going to... Hawaiian Ridge. We don't need them over there. Where's this one? Okay, they're way over there. And... Yes. Okay, hopefully that gives us enough. Hopefully. What else should we do? We have a lot of invasions coming from here. Let's get these uh, six troops here. And we're going to go from here into... Straight into America controlled Panama. And then we'll start all ours... Hopefully, oh, we have we have troops moving. We have troops moving. Okay, let's look at, look at air power. Because we have all this air power right up here, right? Um, let's hit assign all. Then we're going to select all. So now we know that all the planes that could be there are now selected. Let's move them. Okay, so 1,600 can get moved down here. Only 200 there. So let's move all 1,600 here. We're gonna, we'll eventually get a warning that there's way too many aircraft here. But then we'll have a at least good understanding of how much we have and where we need to put them. So 4,800 aircraft. So 200 and 400. Oh, no. Shit. I already overdid that one. Okay, so... What are we going to do? 200, 400, 600, 800. Then... Two, four, six, eight. Uh, nope. There we go. So 1,400 go there. 400 go there. Paratroopers level in three. That's great. Uh, where should we go from now? Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're going to go from Marines just because we're a little bit too far from... I mean, we're already having manpower issues. Let's actually get this uh, naval bomber shit done. And how many planes? We got? We're still a thousand over. Uh, we can move a thousand planes down here. So two, four, six, eight, and ten down here. And I think that should solve our problems. There we go. So now let's 
Okay, so we got a front here. Let's push our troops down this way. I don't think we even need this many troops here, but... We don't want to waste any time. We just want to take everything as fast as and quick as possible. We're pushing, obviously, groups out. This would be a perfect, actually, opportunity for Airborne. Is to get all these smaller islands. And actually, that's what we're going to do. We have a 24-man airborne unit over here. That's also running on attrition. Oh, I have a lot of things training. Um, they're only at level 2. Oh, well. Let's get them... Well, actually, let's... Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We're going to start using these airborne troops. That's for damn sure. Let's get these 24 guys. And we're going to land them... Come on. Do we have to wait for their attrition? And let's put them on fallback line then. Fallback line and a sign. They should move now. Yep, they're moving. So we're going to move those airborne units to try to help us take those smaller islands. And we can close this out. And like, look at the, how many units are stuck in here. Uh, we overran something. I saw that message pop up. Free military factories. Uh, we'll just build another set of Mark II's. And another set of Mark II's. And a third set of Mark II's. Okay, something was overrun again. I really don't think it's my troops, but I really hope that it's not as well. Can we get in here? Oh, we can. This would be like the really last defense here. Look at all these units gone. Uh, let's get the next tier of naval, 50% off, 28 days, and then we'll research the naval bombers, and then we'll also then change our factories to get them as well. Um, okay, so these are good. So let's get or declare war here. Uh, yes. They're going to join uh, for America. Even though they're asking to get into my faction, they're going to join America's side. But that's a quite all right. And then we'll declare there. And we'll say yes to all those stupid things. We have national focus. India independence. I'm, I don't know about that. Should we take over India is the key thing. Should we take over India? It would be interesting. And an interesting aspect. I think I might. I think I might. Okay, we have we had positive movement on those troops. We don't have positive movement anymore. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got troops moving. Okay, Bhutan's done. Take all states. Done. And now Dominican Republic is done. A lot of small wars. A lot of small wars. Let's see. Research. Um... Uh, uh, a lot of people are saying the construction times for this. Are, oh, actually, we're going to do factory outputs. Oh, hold on. Let's see. We're going to actually go to down experiment rockets. We need to start going down that line to get our jet engines and shit going. We're a little behind. Not, that's not even an accurate statement. We're substantially behind the uh, for rockets and stuff like that. So let's get that shit uh, ready to rock and roll. And the one thing I want to do also is let's get an air base um, established... We'll get some air bases down here. We'll shove them to the front. We're going to move that massive 4,000, you know, plus planes, uh, air force down into here so we can actually push. Um, even though we are, it seems that we are pushing fairly well into this area. Uh, I want to I end this war, and I really think this is the last thing that we got. Okay, let's get rid of that. Air wings with no mission. Okay. I thought we assigned all over here, but... I, I, I guess they don't have the range. Hmm. They do they not have the range to get here? Okay, well let's We'll assign all. We'll select all of these. And we'll select all and find so eighteen hundred planes. Move them down here. Okay. Let's get rid of this. So we'll select all that are coming here. And is this all one airspace? That's weird. We still, we got a, 
too far distance warning for a lot of these. Okay, so we got this going. Not Brazil. Sign all here. There we go. It's not a lot, though. That's for damn sure. Okay, so we got those two. What else? Uh, well. Tactical bomber efficiency? Eh. Okay, let's get heart attack and piercing for infantry. Would really like to war end this war in the next, like, seven minutes of game time. So let's, um. Get rid of the clock. We're just gonna let it roll, and then, of course, when I, as soon as I said let's re hit it roll, or let it roll, I stopped it from rolling. This right here is just going kind of back and forth with. We got air supremacy. That's for damn sure. Okay, one of our, I guess our attacks failed. We have too many units in here. Oh, oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. America's out of these chains. That is massive. Okay, so we got our airborne units now as well. So let's... Um, we need to get units here. So we need to create wings. Where's our transports? I know we have transports. I'm positive we have transports, right? Transports. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll have 100 transports uh, established there. We will have... Let's see, how do we want to do this? Um, we're we're going to stop all these guys from exercising. Because they, th they should be trained now. And... Okay, so... How do I want to do this? Hmm. Let's do airborne units of six. So, we'll have six guys go here. Then we'll... Unselect one. We will then, again, paratroop drop to here. Okay. Then we'll unselect there. And paratroop drop into... I don't know what's the other island we need to, but... Um, sure. That looks good. So that's six and six and so forth and so on. We also will delete this order. Okay. Oh, we got those things. So we got these guys left. This is another six. And we'll select it from here to... Like, here. Okay. So we got our airborne units ready to rock and roll. Let's uh, we'll click activate here. Um, I don't know if we have air d domination over here, though. Let's, uh, hit assign all. That doesn't work. <laughs> uh, shit, do we have any airplanes? Okay, we have no airplanes there. Okay, we have these thousand fighters. Let's select all these and have them move here and then put them into this. So that should give us air domination there. Uh, we still don't have air domination in this sector, but that's probably because of down here. But we got our ships engaging them, so that should be good. Was oh, this India? India did a uh, naval invasion. Okay. Okay, brothers. That's great. Good job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, man. I really want it to be done this war. I'm really surprised that we have not just... This is not over. Let's look at our uh, losses, though. Uh, people always like to look at losses. We're at uh, 1.95 mil. We'll evenly call it uh, 2 million for the British Empire. British Vars uh, takes us to, like, uh, 2.3. United States is at 3.6 million losses. Argentina is at 200,000. That, so that brings us to 3.8. That's 4. Um, that's uh, 4.2... That's what we'll call that uh, four seven and five and change. So like five point three, five point four million compared to our two mil ish. 
Uh, yeah, we're not going to go for heavy fighters at all. Okay, we need to get the naval variant. Once we get that naval variant, we'll switch over all our factories. And I don't know, should I just go for Scandinavian? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, we have air experience too, but I want to save that for the f the first iteration of jets, honestly. Uh, okay, let's select half of these and select here to here. Okay. I don't know where it's asking for intel. That's weird. Okay, well, our airborne units have uh, established some contacts here. And actually, our airborne units have just taken over all the islands. So now we probably have lots of naval ships out here. So good thing that we have all these naval ships here ready to rock and roll. We'll delete all those plans. Let's actually take our 24-man uh, military... Or, not military, but... Can we do a airborne drop... From here, where is there a range? Nope. Range. I wanna, I wanna land there. Hmm. Let's see. Can we? Let's see if we can build ten air bases here. If we can do it from there. Okay. So we got fleets low. Uh, what we need to do is have them split off in high pr priority. Okay. I would like to reorganize my fleets, to be quite honest. I would really like to do that. But let's them, let them actually do their thing here. Uh, we're going to put these all guys here. We're actually going to make another battle plan from here. Okay. We'll engage that as well. He is on aggressive. So we'll get some guys down here, and that's splitting off very nice. We'll get that going. Okay, so we're 30 minutes into the episode now. We're still not done this war, and I really don't know how to be done this war right this second. I would like it to be over. Um, who are, Panama still needs to capitulate. Argentina needs to capitulate. And, oh, we sunk ships out. Uh, okay. Uh, I pretty I thought I told them to go, but I guess not. Let's get them to go from here to there. I don't know if they're they have troops over here, but I mean, or not troops, but ships. I mean, that's what we're really worried about is ships. And push these ships out over and over again. Then, whoops, no, we'll delete just this one order. We're just trying to take all these little small naval bases so they actually get engaged by the Navy. Um, and then they have nowhere to go. And then they sink. Right? That's how it works. <laughs> At least that's how it works in my head. Uh, man, I really feel like we should be landing in... Western Zone, Canal Zone. Do we have to get freaking ships on both sides of the... Yep, we do. You gotta be kidding me. That's ridiculous. I'm invading this side, but I need to have this side covered as well. Alrighty then. Thanks for wasting my time. Let's get uh, high priority on that. There. These are all like based in just the absolutely wrong areas as well, which I know. But... What am I going to do? Oh, we have Navy down here as well. I forgot about that. Okay, we're pushing f pretty well into Argentina. I want to keep on going, guys. Uh, it's going to be maybe a little bit longer, but I want to keep on going. These should be going pretty soon, I feel like. Peruvian coast. I don't understand why I need all these different navies here. I have everything, but you want me to get Peruvian coast. fine. I feel like I have way too many... Uh, why do I need fleets on both sides of Panama? I'm coming from this side. That's, an, I believe, an obvious flaw. I'm invading from the north side of Panama, but I need to have naval supremacy on the southern side. That doesn't make sense. That That's definitely a little fucked. 
Uh, well, we're going into... What the hell? Did South Africa just declare war on me? Fucking Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god, that is such horse shit. That is such horse shit. Oh man, like seriously, the war is literally about to end in any moment. And it's just like, oh hey, uh, no. You can't end yet. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let's get... Hey, this is baffling. It, it is substantially baffling. It's The war is about to end at any second. And it's like, oh, you know what, guys? You can't end the war. Why can't you end the war? Well, we just don't want the war to end right now. So, yeah, screw you. And, yeah, we'll see you later. Gosh, man. That's just bullshit. They need to fix that as well. Why would South Africa join a war that's absolutely be being lost? For what reason? They they wouldn't. I mean, to be quite honest, they just wouldn't. Um, so, yeah, we just pro prolonged our war substantially. Very, very substantially. Well, I mean, we have to get troops over here. Yeah, there was no reason for that. That that was Argentina has just capitulated. That was only to just make this war last longer for abs really absolutely no reason. I don't know why the computer did that. I, it doesn't make sense to me. Whatever. Can we get these going? Two battleships, ten destroyers, a cruiser, a heavy cruiser, light cruiser, two submarines. Dead. Uh, so we have Panama and now South Africa. That we that, that we need to make surrender. And for what, whatever reason, these guys do not want to... I don't understand. Okay, how about this now? Can we get... Where's that 24 men? Where's that airborne unit? Okay, airborne unit. Let's see. Nope, airborne from here. Can we... Gosh, we still can't hit this area? Oh, man. Okay, what we need to do... Is... What's this army? This is 103... Let's select half of it. Establish new army. Let's, uh, prom uh, we don't want to promote anyone. Whatever. We'll promote this guy. And then we'll have him come over here. And then we'll have him attack that way. Okay, that's going to have to be the end of the episode. I really wanted to end this uh, episode with the end of this war, but, and it would have if it wasn't just for South Africa joining absolutely a losing war for absolutely no reason so we're going to end this on the 20th of may 1945 um we can already see south africa moving troops uh into our territory it's going to take our troops a long time we sent a decent amount of troops over there though um it just it's just going to take time and we have some major naval engagements going there uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys like it. As always, I'm the Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys next time.